good. Wow. Slide up to the bottom of the glute folds here. Uh, shoulders look pretty close to even too, no onset. That's actually really good. Good. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors with some new additions. Also, all of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. Do you have any back pain? Yes. Okay. I'm a hairdresser and I stand all day. Do you get the hairdresser upper shoulder neck thing when you're from yes, holding out? Yes, from yep. holding like this and then right between my shoulder blades too yeah. is always rough. All right, let's see what your spine says and then get you adjusted. All right, looking at the feet first. This is where dancers typically have a lot of issues, especially ballerinas. Uh, I do see somewhat of an instability. Oh. It's the right foot everts. The right foot is everted, and there's that swinging out there too, and that might even be some hip, and then the right knee. Uh, yeah, the, your feet are complex for sure. It's not as simple. And then, uh, and then there, and I think on the toe, on the mid stance to toe off on the left, I saw a little bit of inversion. On that last round, we got the shoulders. Okay, arm swing looks even both sides. Uh, shoulders look pretty close to even too, no onset. That's actually really good. Go and turn around and go the other way. Arches are normal. Arches are normal. I don't see any hallux valgus or varus in the extremity or in the big toe. More here on the left side. But you're right-handed, I assume, based mm -hmm. on this, what your spine feels like. Because there's more, you, the muscles on the left side of your spine are more prominent. Interesting. And so like this is, I know, it's what everyone says. It's, so this is your dominant side, but mm -hmm. this is the side that has to stabilize and hold everything still. Yep, it's all upper T-spine, T4 T up. There's some general tightness in your trapezius muscle here, but I don't feel any trigger points in the traps. Oh yeah, this is where all the rigidity is here. Just starts right there, T5 area. Yep, six, movement, bouncy, playful, seven, bouncy, a little bit of restriction maybe on seven, six, five. All right, so I'm going to look at your glute fibers. This is how we measure uh, the pelvis rotations. Okay, so you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings first. I'm going to slide up to the bottom of the glute folds here. We're lower on the right, that means the right hip has possibly gone back like this, or the left hip has gone forward. So that's how we start to estimate which way the uh, pelvis is rotated. Now the right side is the side of the eversion. So the eversion and the external rotation make sense together. So this is, so even though, but this one's restricted. So that keeps it close, right short, but right is short significantly. And then it's trying to become the longer leg here, which points to the right side joint, which again makes it more simple. Good down. Good. We're just going to let that sink in for a little bit. You don't have a whole lot of hip low back issue, but every all of this is connected. You know, you're standing all day, which means right. the kinetic chain from your ankle, knee, hip all the way up your spine neck to where you get these tension headaches this is all part of the same thing okay we're going to start in the middle perfect right when we get to the end of your breath that's when we do a little push like that I'm going to start off conservative, okay? Okay. I'm going to take a deep breath in through your nose here. Good. End out. Good. Shoulders sinking. Good. And out. Good. Shoulders sinking. Good. Letting it all go. T1. I'm going to lower the headpiece down just a little bit. Good. Good, and you're just kind of sinking in here. Good, sink. Adjustment, just like the other ones, I'm gonna follow your breath. 
Okay, your shoulders are gonna move in this direction like this. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this, okay? So that was an SI joint right here on the right. There's probably a little bit more left to go. Okay, let's give it a try. Go take a deep breath in. Shoulders are gonna come up like this. I'm gonna bring the hip down. Let's give it a try. Go take a deep breath in. Good and out. Finger back. It's so crunchy. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. Double upper cervical. Okay. So we're looking up high for possibly both adjustments. Okay, we're going to start off on the left side, okay? Nice and gentle, just like the other breaths, just like the other adjustments. I'm just going to follow your breath. And then we just push like that, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, nice and gentle, sinking in. Right. Gentle breathing in through your nose. Good, now. Good. Wow. That felt wild. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna do all the work here. You can just like sink and letting it go. Okay, nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good, letting it go, good. That crack your little toe. Mm. That one said no. Nope. <laughs> That's because he didn't eat any dinner. <laughs> Should have had roast beef with your brother. <laughs> Shouldn't like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold him as hard as you can. Hold. Okay, so we start off with the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. So for, we identify this valve by first finding the belly button. Yours is like there, right? Mm -hmm. And then your ASIS, the front of the hip. Connect these two points. It's where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Interesting. Okay, and then we come up to the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the duodenum. following your breath and as you breathe out we're going to come down like this and then we pull in that direction like that okay mm -hmm. okay this one's just a little bit more aggressive than the other ones but i promise that there's no pain with this okay no i'll go ahead let's give it a try go take a deep breath in and out whoa that was weird <laughs> made my brain feel all tingly How's the, how's the nape? It feels a lot better. I definitely feel like there's a lot less tension and stiffness in it. I feel all loosey-goosey now. That feels good. Push as hard as you can. Keep pushing.
If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.